Hey YouTube, how in the fuck are you guys doing today? So today, by the title of this video, you can see we're going to fix a KTM swing arm. Now this, this is for my 450 uh, XC uh, quad, basically my wife's quad. Uh, and we got to fix this so... Uh, we can ride it in the woods and stuff. Now, when I got this thing, I didn't know that why it didn't have uh, one of these on it is because uh, all the mounts are ripped off. So, as you can see right here, all right, we gotta we gotta get these mounts put back on there and. Uh, you know, have them um, have the holes drilled and all that stuff. And then what I want to do is, um, you can see that like KTM had these things spot welded on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. We're gonna make a little bit wider one, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit wider. But what we're gonna do is, uh, you know, put these up on there like that. After we, you know, grind everything down and uh, cut these off to fit. You know, like we're gonna have to do some fitment here. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll drill a hole here and then we'll weld a nut onto the back side, and then we'll push this back down, um, if you will. And then uh, mark where we got to weld it, and then just weld it on there after we get the fitment started for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these uh, rectangular chromoly pieces that I got from McMaster Car, and uh, we're going to grind all this off. Okay, now all you gotta do is sand that down. We made quick work of that, as you can tell. Grinded that all off, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, now the next thing is, is that I'm gonna cut these down. Uh, basically, you gotta figure out, I want them to sit on there like that. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do is cut them here, just like that, and just like this, so we get rid of this uh, bottom piece and then we'll see how what our height is like 
Okay, YouTube, you can see that we got these down on in there. Um, I feel like this is pretty good. This is running with the bottom of the swing arm. And again, this controls the distance of the, uh, the sprocket and stuff. So I feel like that's, that's pretty good. We'd rather have more room uh, this way, like this way than the other way. So I feel like that's pretty good. Alrighty, uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and tap, or go ahead and do this. Okay, this is my center punch. Alrighty, so I center punch that. Now we can go over. We can take those off. We got a good center punch hole there. Now we'll go over and we'll drill this. Uh, we're gonna use eight millimeter bolts, or eight millimeter bolts and nuts. So let's get this shit. I got shit everywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this 8.5, um, if you will. one fabricating I actually like to fabricate Oop. Love this new Mac drill that I got. All right, now what we got to do? All right, is we're gonna have to go back over there. Let me get my let me get my nuts. Cause we're gonna have to tack weld this in there. So, do, 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 do. Now, what I like to do is we're gonna figure out this goes. This goes like this. All right. So we got a little slack in there. That way, uh, if we Okay, that's not good. Cause these nuts are a these nuts are a little high. So let me show you how to how to fix that. All right, now I think we got it. Yeah. Okay. You can see that we got that on there. This doesn't interfere with that. You can easily tack weld that in. 
So now let's flip this over and what we're going to do is weld those nuts on there. Let me just see if I can get this tacked real quick. Fuck. Fuck. All right. Alrighty, that ain't going nowhere. Uh, these nuts all tacked down in there. What we're gonna do is come in and weld this up. Alrighty, now all we wanna do, YouTube, is just get a good tack on this. Hopefully you can you can see that there we got a pretty good tack now let's see if our bolts come out 
and then we'll finish welding this up. Then what we'll do Alright What we want to do is just hold this down and get a good tack here Let's see if I can do this with you guys here. Fabrication Shop 101 here, YouTube. Ugh. Let me just see what we got here. This is hard to hold.
Alrighty. There we go. That's uh, on there a lot better. Now when we take it to the now when we take it to the uh, shop to get powder coated, we're uh, we're finished. Look at that. Now we have a skid plate back on. We got the skid plate back on our goddamn thing, and uh, I think that looks pretty fucking good. If I if I don't say so myself, did you see that? Shoo, we drivers. I gotta find the little. See if we can see if we can screw this back together. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. One skid plate mount for KTM. Done, use shorter bolts back here next time and we're good. Um, what I have been working on today, I didn't film none of this, but uh, I had a pretty big crack. I had a fill on this. Um, also, I got a Textera gusset kit welded in that so this is this frame is ready to go out to be powder coated i just sent the engine out today so uh this one we're gonna do silver and black like a kind of like a raiders theme and uh you can see that the texterra tech uh i bought a arms for it too and i got these quad tech seats uh i thought i'd try uh this time so that's what we got there but other than that that looks real good there nothing a little sandblasting can't fix but uh that's how to repair that type of stuff today Alrighty there youtube thanks for watching hope you learned something uh that you know with a welder and uh, a mcmaster car online account you can fix a lot of stuff so uh, we got this swing arm fixed. Um, I actually have a Walsh swing arm for it, but uh, hasn't got made yet. So that's why I wanted to have this one as like a backup because these KTM parts are hard to find. But uh, that's that's that. That's fixed. Um, I found that skid plate online. I uh, don't know where it was. Just Googled KTM 450 XC skid plate that popped up swing arm skid plate that popped up but uh like always guys check out instagram patreon facebook all that bullshit and uh like always thanks for watching and uh i gotta fucking go